All right, Grand Rising, everyone. It is Shalanda, and I'm back. And, um, yeah, so we are going to be whew, all over the place today. You know, I think dealing with all this stuff, being in the position that I'm in, you know, um, I don't know, it's about like hidden things and you know, many things that I'm just trying to get a grasp on, you know, just remaining knowing myself and, or even getting to know myself and, you know, it's just, I don't know, like last night I was putting these cards away and for some reason the trickery card popped out, right? It seems like when it's beneficial to some people, is when they try to put a hold or try the witch hunt or try and, you know, um, come at people for using certain things in order to enhance their vision, right? But I feel like we're in the, we're going to be going in the Kibra Nagas today. And I feel like everything else been out in the open, everything else been exposed, everything else, personal details, possibly images, conversations, personal conversations of mine, you know, all these things, just people in power, people within the community trying to uh, bring me down or keep me trapped or put work on me or whatever it is, you know, like these things that I sense with these sensors that we were talking about, right? And I feel like for some reason, source led me here, okay? We were, I don't, okay. I'm trying to see how I'm even going to word this, right? So I was sitting here yesterday and I was watching something. I think I was reading out of the Kibra Nagas. And then I started to think about the Ark of the Covenant. And I'll just tell you freely what was going on in my thoughts. Because when it benefits those that are below or those that are in other situations, they want to use the information one way. When it benefits those that are in foreign energies, you know, I feel like they're all watching, but again, no one gives credit, no one pays homage, no one pays their dues or, you know, in whatever way, wherever that might be a um, spiritual or financial or anything. And so when it, when it comes to me, right, but when it comes to everybody else, it's, it's a free for all, right? So I feel like this part kind of tripped me out because it's talking about keeping something secret. I'm thinking, why all of a sudden does everything, something have to be secret? You know, and again, this might be me sabotaging something. But again, I just feel like the truth has to be revealed. You know, rather someone's trying to take away my voice or trying to control the algorithms on my channel or trying to seclude or erase me from whatever. It's like when you have these issues, it's not even trust issues. It's just me doing what I got to do to, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with this in this in this instance. When we talk about the Ashereth of America energy, we talk about the fact that, you know, some of the elders and some other people might be pissed off about certain things that have been said. And what I got from it is that they're pissed off because, and, and I went back, right? I went back, as we are in, this is a, a part right here about the seed of the woman from Revelations 12 and 17. When I went back to go look at some things, it was videos that I had did that had something to do with, or I feel gave me more insight on what we're probably talking about here with the insurrection energy and things like that, right? So I started to watch something about the Ark of the Covenant and how, you know, some people were trying to do some trickery or whatever to change some things, destiny possibly, right? And then I, I recall this part when they said that they tried to bring the Ark and put it on the uh, fish god or something like that. And it was dismantled or whatever. And I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. 
I feel like, you know, could this be that dismantling? But we're dealing with energies that when you can't trust nobody, you know, and it's just like, I refuse. I mean, it just seems like when, when it's coming to this portion of the elders keeping something secret, and then right after that, we're talking about the Ark of the Covenant, right? Now, I didn't realize that this was where we were going to be at, right? And then it talks about this Queen Makita, Queen of Sheba, also known as Candace, Queen of Ethiopia. It said that this queen is the queen that turned out Solomon. The fact that in real life, I've earlier on been able to witness these things and get downloads about these things. But I think after something occurred between possibly that Solomon energy and this Makita is when I noticed that now this person might be mounted on, right? And they talk about here in, in another portion of the book about tying some camels together. <clears throat> it made me think about some energy that I was looking into about the Ark of the Covenant and the two figures that are on the, um, the box, right? Then it made me think about I don't know, leaking or leaking information or leaking uh, dis-ease or some, <clears throat> excuse me, something of that nature. And then it made me think about recently, you know, trying to, you know, um, working on uh, trying to protect myself from what felt like forces and energies that are coming in. And then looking at some of these things when it comes to certain people becoming ill or possibly dying all of a sudden. And it makes me think about who holds the power and who do people want you to think does. And what happened when gods and elders and the world, the, this worldly realm and principalities and rulers and things want to take advantage of someone that they think is below them, but it may be holy. Someone that they may think is less attractive to th than them, but may be holy. Someone that a lot of these people know good and well that it is the access to this thing or this individual or this person or these people. However it may be, because people, some people, many are, um, called but few are chosen and I'm guessing that's because some choose to do certain things that turn them away from God or get involved with again idols that want you to put them before God and it just seemed like it worked so well so it puts you in a tight bind because like okay you know, the people in the community that turn their backs and the people in high places that turn their backs and maybe even some of these so-called gods or maybe even, you know, God or, you know, the Elohim, you know, like, because it's just thinking, we're thinking how far back are we going? In this case, dealing with that energy of wisdom, that forever energy. Ooh, she, I feel, sometimes is taken for granted, even by some of these gods, I think. I don't like to speak that way about, like, 
I want to like talk about the Hebrew God, um, Adonai, or just even, you know, there's one energy, you know, like I said, I feel like sometimes I'm dealing with uh, someone, but I'm dealing with different pieces of them. It's talking about this wood or whatever that's broken up into seven pieces. It re reminds me of um, Nephi and Isis, the sisters. We look a lot about um, Isis, but do we really think about Nephthys energy? And then with Mayat, it's about truth and order and things of that nature. I can't remember if Mayat was before Isis or not, right? Just like they say Bilquis is before Aphrodite. But you have to remember that some of these things are interchangeable. The pe people try to mount on to people. People try to take the identity. And, you know, it makes me want to look into sleepwalkers and skin crawlers. Because of all the trickery. And again, I know that I don't deal in, in dabble in trickery. <laughs> Everything I do is straightforward. There's no reason. There's no rhyme. I'm called to do certain things or speak certain things. I have to sit there and marinate and sit and, and meditate on these things. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing when I go into them. And sometimes it feels like I'm doing the right thing. Sometimes I feel like it's me and my energy. Sometimes I think it's the energy of source. Sometimes I think that there's blockages and things. Sometimes I think that, again, it's the energy of others. I can't help to think, though, that there is a divine being that I am connected to in a sense. And I feel, you know, <clears throat> that people want me to think that this person or this individual or this entity is against me. And I think maybe, you know, worldly things could maybe have done that at one point in time. So, again, it leaves me with no, no other alternative but to speak these things. Because when we're thinking of America as a, a feminine energy and we're thinking about the past and we're thinking about the rulership and the the warrior and Amazonian empresses of this place that had to be emperors as well. Again, that brings back the, the Adam energy, especially it could be, I mean, even if it's a male with a feminine energy, you know what I'm saying? It just brings me back to that. It's like playing roles almost. And then it made me think about the, the pyramid scheme of the caste or class and how, again, um, if this I, right, it made me think about this apple, right, okay, you know, um, that's supposed to be a forbidden, forbidden fruit, but it was never really called that. And then it makes me think about the all-seeing eye, because these things are still here, sitting here. And then the praying mantis, just sitting back and just really, you know, taking a, a look at things. And then it brings me back to even the hedgehog, S cute, sweet little, you know, people just think they could just... But, you know, or even the porcupine energy, I guess. But sometimes those thorns have to come out. And so, like I said, I, f I feel like what's going on right now is people are trying to cut something off or cut me off or whatever. Or try to make me think one thing. There's trickery. It's just trickery. So, again, to get the record straight, we're just going to do some things and we're going to just look at some things. Read some things and look at a couple images here. And then we're going to just discern what we might see here. All right? Because, I don't know, I just feel like the whole thing is just not right. You ask somebody to just go freely with something after people are trying to take their livelihood, their lives, their gifts, their whatever it is, you know. Um, and if we're dealing with real kings or gods or whatever on this, on this plane, there's no reason why I should be spending months racking my brain about how to physically move. When keeping me all in my head, keeping me with all these attacks and things like this, where it 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 it, it deals with matters of the heart as well, breadcrumbing, love bombing, you know, and then taking away or coming back in and then feels like something has been taken away financially, spiritually, whatever. Beauty sometimes, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, it, it's a difference when you're dealing with somebody that can see themselves here, see these things happen, have all these people be able to do these dealings. They do them in public. They talk shit in public. But, again, when we want to set the record straight, we have to be quiet. We have to be silent. Why? At this point, it, the community, you know what I'm saying, is doing what they're doing. The family, immediate family, extended family, other family that I don't know about, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to celestial family or other, you know, groups, you know. Like I said, I got I, I to gotta do my own thing. So but then that means that I have to be God. I have to be my God then. And I can only trust what's coming from within, even though there's a lot coming from outside. I have to also be able to sit in that energy and... try to discern myself and it, it you know yes I'd like to do it in private but why 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 in private why when people are running rampant why when we have the 200 million possibly right um whatever that energy might be speaking of it makes me think about imperial the red dragon makes me think about China the red dragon also makes me think about for some reason um you know it's, it's kind of like a not a good mix or whatever but um it makes me think about a bad and a Biden, um, a Polyon or whatever. And seeing the moves that have been made by this administration um, from the top to the bottom, it don't really match. But at the same time, it's just like what needs to be cleaned? What, what needs to be, you know what I'm saying? What need to be drained, right? It's... <laughs> And that's what I'm saying. If a, if a God had, if, if a God, right? Had power and love. And again, when it comes to this feminine energy, that would be this main focal point, this star, right? This star energy in this time. Why is everybody else, you know, spiritually and within myself, I'm so happy right now and I'm feeling so good. And I, and I don't even like the... Think about negative, you know what I'm saying? But is, is my silence agreeing to something that's going to go against something for me? This is what my cup is supposed to be looking like right now. I feel in 3D physically and all. This. That rainbow that we saw, I feel, was a, a gift. I mean, it was confirmation for me, right? These waves that are crashing, these ships that are waiting to sail. It made, it made me even think about, these are just the same cards from the other day. Because, again, we're going through something here. About the uh, commerce and economics and the merchants and landowners and all that type of energy. Not knowing that, again, this energy is talking about walking on water. <laughs> over while they try to keep that star trapped from that that seal that we we shared on this channel it, this star has always been popping up for me pouring out pouring out giving 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 abundance look at all the stars around i am that star The feminine aspect of it. I believe there's a male aspect of it. That's who I'm waiting for. But we know there's a lot of this energy around. So we're going to read this. You know, what, what, what God's going to keep secrets for? You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting all this energy, like, that people want to try to shame or make me feel some kind of way about my body or, you know what I'm saying, um, the way I dress, you know, certain things on my body, you know, stretch my... I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. This is just all natural. You know what I'm saying? It may not be what it was, you know, I don't know how long ago, but this is four babies, twins, and all. C-section scars, natural births, whatever. 
You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I also think, again, some of us are used as vassals, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, you know, uh, birthing nations, celestial babies and all. So again, I, excuse me, if again, <laughs> things have been occurring that are out of my control, right? That may leave me looking some kind of way right now. But I must always just feel like I look damn good. <laughs> Makeup, not hair, not whatever it is. I always, you know what I'm saying? Jack of all trades. I just enjoy pushing the envelope. And I don't like people trying to put their foot on my neck. So anybody can get this book. So it can't be that much of a damn secret. So let's see. Let's make sure people get the right understanding when they're reading this book. So again, the elders of Israel, okay? Now I think in, Gen I mean, in, in Revelations it talks about, and that we didn't get to go into it yet, but we'll hopefully be able to do it today. Um, Goodness, what part was it that I was going to bring up? Oh, my goodness. Uh, there was something about, I feel like elders as well, like got pissed off at this woman. And then they, they, they sent this red dragon. There. And I don't know, it made me think about insurrection. It made me think about the whole thing of the... January 6th, which made me start going back into December, my post, my videos, energy, even not even this year. I'm even trying to go back a year before that, prior. Because, ooh. So, now, this is a lion. They have faces of lion, but this wings is almost like a dragon, right? And then we say this has like some caduceus kind of energy here or changing or swapping spit <laughs> or DNA possibly. I feel like even on the level of it being God energy, sometimes these, when it comes to me, there's some kind of anima, there's something when it comes to some of these God energies. And it also is something when it comes to some of these feminines and the connections that they have to some of these energies. And again, I like I said, I see something to do with children, connection, royal seed being spilled or dis dispersed. So again, the people that the alien groups or whatever are not going to understand it anyway, are they? Because we talk in the book of Enoch as if this is thing, these are things that they, they can maybe peer in, but they're not going to be able to understand these things. And if they try to get close to that ark, could be a problem. Which makes me think about the video we did about the ark in the, in the, um, the resolute desk. And it made me wonder why we haven't been seeing certain people that are in the administration anywhere near that thing lately. And I would have to question why all of a sudden we would if we start to see them after this video. Lest ye touch it. Solomon the, the king answered and said to them, hearken ye unto me and unto what I say unto you. Supposing he had taken me away while as I was carrying Zion. What, and besides, I think this may be something that already happened, possibly, right? What is impossible to God? And supposing he or she were to make them inherit our city. That city could represent entities, an individual, um, or a place, person, place, or thing, and destroy us. And 
So I don't know what city this is, but I mean, we're going to talk about Zion and Jerusalem and things, you know, okay? All right? For everything is his or hers or it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and none can overcome his will. So I'm almost like, the world is mine. But someone wants a city. Or has it. Okay. Even I look at some of the divine masculine energies and now I'm asking, wait a minute. <laughs> Cause I'm there's this sister energy attached. And I've seen it transform. I've seen it trans I've seen it. Even I'm just seeing that even it feels like something happened within the past couple of days. And one of the masculines I'm seeing in a feminine energy, some of the things they're saying are like, you know, it just very strange. What is impossible to God? It made me think about the missiles that they said went around the earth from China. It made me think about everybody trying to get a hold of that ark, but lest they touch it, they will. But again, you have to know yourself. You have to know who and what you are. So this is like a journey to find those bits and pieces and exercise them and roar when you need to. And then this time is a time that I need to, I feel. I believe the true God energy that I'm connected to will understand if that's not the energy that's pushing me to do so. <clears throat> no one can overcome his will and there is no one who can oppose his command in heaven above or earth below. Because again, my thing is these standards that are being put on me, are these the same standards that are going on with these other women? Is it because they, people feel like from the outside looking in that these women may carry more of something than what I have and they're mistaken? Even, even those entities at the higher level, right? We're going to go here because this card, there's three of them. I don't know exactly where I put them all. But this one right here, this is when I knew, right? says money spell, right? This is when I knew that a feminine energy was, something was going on here. Because the masculine energy might have led me to think or say something about, where it's almost as if to, to scan or read this energy. And at that time, I'm like, I, you know, I'm, I'm that energy, right? I don't know, right? I was seeing, it was kind of like trying to level up, you know, like, I don't know. She, she, that's what she was on, right? And it was after I had mentioned something. It was a video that I did co with concern, right? That I, I, I think I noticed that that spark went off. But that person was saying something about a money spell. Now, I haven't put a spell on anyone ever in my life. I just speak things into existence or I think them or something, which can get me in trouble sometimes. But it says this is the ring of power. Okay. And I wonder if something, if someone was trying to do something like this against me and against my money, but it reversed. And, and maybe because they tried that, maybe this ring of power, shield and um, and encircled me and blessed me? Or, or is this something that they took? But then it took me some time to see who's who and, the, and, and just challenge that. So did they steal that circle of protection and place it around another empress or energy or divine energy or energy? Hmm. Yeah, that was just, and I put that here um, by the arc. So we're going to go ahead and read this. Like I said, it's a lot of things going on. 
You know what I'm saying? And I just, I'm, I'm here to bring order and set the record straight. At this point in time, I've almost damn near lost everything. Even ready to go ahead and walk into a new path, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's just, I want to know what we're talking about here. Where, where, who, who can I run to? Where's my safety zone? I can understand if things change. Things are not probably going to happen exactly like this book is saying that they're going to change. But again, respect. I feel like whatever it is, some of these energies are around are just taking, taking, taking. Whenever I cross over a path and I'm there to, to receive my gift, someone's there to already take it. Because it's almost like a skin crawler energy. Somebody has assumed the, the role or taken my identity. This could be a sister in the family, someone that's close to me like a sister. This could be somebody that is a, of uh, the same lineage that maybe know about me, but I don't know about them. So they're competing with me, but I'm not competing with anyone but myself. <laughs> I've never seen anyone else until I started to peer in on the other energies that I, I saw something was going on behind the scenes. And, and, and I should have to be aware of that, okay? And it says that the elders of Israel together with the king went into the house of God. Okay. And I feel like whatever is, something has been done. And yes, people don't want to admit to what they did. And it's just making the whole damn thing worse. Okay. And the elders of Israel together with their kings went into the house of God and they entered the holy of holies. Now, again, this, this makes me think about like baptism, baptism and how, again, somebody, I don't know if it was John the Baptist that was baptizing people over here. And somebody said, look, he over here baptizing people. He ain't supposed to be baptizing people. And that's what I'm feeling when I see another feminine energy that may be housing a masculine energy as well. That is baptizing, again, some of the people, again, that might have been, you know what I'm saying, I don't know. Maybe it was the way it was meant to be. But I think that they, the energies that were, I feel, surrounding me at one time, that this person, you know what I'm saying, was able to uh, persuade or, again, uh, idolatrous, seductive um, Jezebel energy or spirit, the whole time projecting that energy on me while I'm cleansing myself and cleansing my house and, you know, um, having to go through these things or whatever. And again, the, the, it seemed that you don't know what's going on behind the scenes because again, if you ain't right within, then how the fuck you gonna win? But, you know what I'm saying? While I'm sitting here in this capsule, which sometimes feels like protection, but sometimes it feels like, you know, locked up in a damn tower. And this is what's going on here, right? And then you got this energy here, they all acting like they cool, but look. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? But the real abundance is over here. And I don't know why this thing, I want to know what this is. The real abundance is on this side. The real harvest or whatever, is, oh, maybe this represents a harvest, right? So they're harvesting from, you know, but then her cup is raised higher. And we're just going off of the images here. We're not going off of the meaning here, okay? All right? So again, that anointing or that wand energy, you know, reminds me of a dipstick for some reason, right? And, and something transferable or transmittable, something. But again, who does it cause dis-ease for? <laughs> I would think this God that is warning people not to deal with these idols in that manner and take them to be their wives. But again, it made me think about so-called fallen angel energy. And it also made me think about, you know what I'm saying? The energy of barrenness or dry deserts, right? That may achieve these kind of things by the seed, right? What was that movie? The Grapes of Rat? What is that? I don't know why I was just thinking that, right? Because again, we saw that that king, that, um, who was it that was sitting there in that picture yesterday with the abundance, right? <laughs> but again, and then, 
you just like, oh, well, well, you know, let me count up all this abundance and everything. And I feel kind of bad, you know, but she's sitting there like, damn, this all, you know, but it's still, you know what I'm saying? It's still a pinnacle, right? She got a lot of flowers and everything, but where, where is in this devil energy card, she, she's the one holding all the grapes. While the devil is lighting up, you know. So again, what maybe this tells on the whole religious aspect and all of it. And this is why an energy or a God from this Bible wouldn't want me using these cards or talking about this. And they want to make it seem ugly. But again, you ain't nobody else on no line or nowhere, nowhere else here doing what I'm doing here. Because it ain't no other one here. There's not another one. It's my turn. It's not another one. Justice is pulling back this veil, okay? Regardless of how it is. And in this realm, another realm, whatever. All right? I don't give a damn who it is. As above, so below. It's going to be coming out. All right? All right. And prostrated themselves and ascribed blessings to God. Because you could go. I love, 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 love hard. And I give all when it comes to source, when it comes, I don't, I don't deserve to have to keep on going through any of this stuff that I go through. I'm not perfect, but I works hard and I, and I do it by myself. Even dealing with energies that are older than me, wiser than me, that have more because I've been binded and blinded. I still have to be the one to go through this together. There's no one to lean on for me. I should be having a court. I should be having people here helping me in the physical, right? And the spiritual. But it seems like this whole thing is like energy vampire kind of thing. It's just like take, 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 right? And I have to sacrifice. And I will, I will be, I'll, I will sacrifice. That's the thing. I'm ready. I've been, you know what I'm saying? I have gone through so much that everything has, even my, my, my immediate, uh, things, my family, my extended family, my other hat. It, it's just, that's the way it had to be for me. I'd be damned if I give it up to somebody else right now or somebody else just take what it is. I don't think that they can, but people can create another illusion and build on top of something that is by using something. It's almost like that energy of cutting off a head of Medusa or energy of cutting off the head of a powerful witch and still using it for your, that's what this energy right here about keeping it secret and keeping it. Because the, the, the God running forces have already been there for 20 years or whatever in the dome deciphering from the capital. Spreading it out amongst the, the other, right? Because they were in fear of some kind of uh, judgment. <laughs> That's why they can try to turn that flu into something more dire and try to put it on the head of a holy one. Then Solomon wept in habitation of the heavenly Zion, the tabernacle of the law of God. And they all went, again, these laws will be written where? Within the heart, which makes me think about, again, this hierophant um, energy. Where is it? So again, this could be that person that gave up on that and scooped up these wands and went about their business because they wanted something else. And that's fine too, but I ain't begging for shit. It's about the piece of pie, the sweet potato pie, okay? And, and all the pieces. And they all wept with him. And after a little while, they ha they held their peace. King Solomon then said unto them, cease, yea, so that the uncircumcised people may not boast themselves over us and say their glory is taken away. And God hath forsaken them. And the messed up thing about this is I forced to do it this way because I know that they're, again, although I keep trying to sever these ties, I know that there are people there 
There are, pe there are people there that are observing and surveilling and how deep it goes, I don't know. But the books are open. And again, when we're talking about the books, we're talking about the Akashic and we're talking about the fact that people are utilizing it. And they even put it in a, a holy empress, okay? High priestess, which was, that was the mistake, right? In a certain position where they have allowed their, in so don't cry about it now. Don't cry about, I don't know who else is telling you this information. I know you're listening. Don't cry about it now. One man's treasure is another man's, I mean, trash is another man's treasure. It just so happens that it's just like, I don't want to belong to nobody. And that's what I think this whole thing is about. I don't belong to nobody. And ain't nobody going to take it. And the patriarchal energy that's around here better just, and that's what I'm saying at this point in time, it just ain't happening. I wanted them out. Somebody said they was going to drain the swamp. They didn't do it. The calm after the storm was well, damn. This, this is, I was listening to some classical music earlier and the storm came up. We, we, I think it's a storm coming in. This could be representing that storm. When we had this, uh, these two here, the two winds. It's kind of like that road with the, the fork in it almost because we did have this rainbow too in the middle. So I'm going to get it. <laughs> and again, I'm just standing in that energy, dude. Heaven and earth. <laughs> and they're going to make them all rich, poor, big, small. They're going to all do it. At the end of the day, ain't nobody playing no games no more, really. All right. So again, the glory is taken away and God hath forsaken them. Reveal ye not anything else to the alien folk. Right. Let us set up these boards, which are here nailed together and let us cover them over with gold. Okay. Boards. Flat as a board. Cover them with gold and let us decorate them after the manner of the Lady Zion and let us lay books um, of law inside it. I don't know. Why does make me think about some kind of twins? <laughs> if I was him, I would have married Caden Ashley. But I'm seeing another set of twins. Jerusalem the free that is in the heavens above us. Why does make me think about sovereignty? Okay. All right. And why does that moon is at her feet? But you did you see this too? We're gonna get into this one next, right? It's like a pod of seeds. It's a pot of seeds. And she kind of looked kind of sad. Like somebody took something. She lost her best friend or somebody took something from her. Giving birth. Her water is breaking. But what is it connected to? It's connected to the moon. How is that? What are we dealing with here? The stars just keep pouring, pouring, pouring. Aquarius energy, yeah. But again... There's other stars around, but the highest in the room, the brightest, all right? And it says, Jerusalem, the free, that in the heaven above us, which Jacob, our father, saw, is with us, and below it is the gate of heaven. So again, I don't know, this makes me think about also some energy that might have something to do with, you know, some energy. I don't know where my, my daughter almost a little bit. Right. And, um, actually my daughters. Right. Okay. And the thing I don't like about that is like, then that leaves 
you know, I'm, 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 I'm never going to be in competition. I want my daughters to do better than me and have more than me. You know what I'm saying? That's why, but I don't want nobody else to take advantage of them to try to try to dismiss what's going on with me when I'm supposed to be setting up everything in the kingdom. And I'm supposed to be doing these things to set up things so that my, my daughters will be able to, you know, move on and go into certain type of connections and things like that. I'm supposed to be doing that. I don't want nobody else doing that for me. You know what I'm saying? So it, it makes me think, <clears throat> like I said, is this something? Because I keep seeing something, right, about daughters, right? Because then we are talking about daughters of Zion and daughters of Jerusalem and stuff like that within the story. But again, don't, th th because then that's, that puts the goods into, again, another conservatorship possibly, right? Which could be, again, over them. And they will be ignorant to the fact. And then the same thing that happened to me could happen to them, where somebody comes in and tries to take everything. So I'm laying it down. This Jerusalem on earth, okay? If we do the will of God, his, ple his good pleasure, God will be with us and will deliver us out of the hand of our enemy and out of the hand of all those who hate us. God will not um, will and uh, not our, uh, oh, God's will and not our will be done, okay? Through this, he has made us sorrowful. Okay. So again, it seems like, like I said, I put that, that spell thing up, but it seems like, like I said, who, the person that with the spell, I feel like, again, after I saw that they were kind of attached to my energy, right. And try to make it seem like I'm, a, I'm after theirs. Right. I'm like, what the hell? No, nah, partner. Uh, even with any of these women that's coming out talking right now, you, you check, check, check the board. I've been there already before many of them. A lot of them. Most of them have only come into the game four years or so ago. I've been already doing it. All aspects of it. <laughs> and that's why they came in and threw the wrench. All right? I had things going for myself. And I was planning things right before this whole thing broke out. Opened up art studios for young girls. There was things that I was getting ready to do. I had small businesses that I was focusing on and I had to stop all that to dedicate myself to this work. And you're gonna try to leave me here? Times when I had people turn against me and I didn't have nothing and I was doing this for something or for everyone? No. Mm -mm. And then you're gonna stand there in my place and tell me why I can't come and that, what are you talking about? I don't understand, and I'm going to be getting some answers here, okay? Hmm. Though this ha ha um, he hath made us sorrowful, uh, for now his wrath will, his or her, okay, will cool in respect of us, and he will not abandon us for our en uh, to our enemies, and he will not remove his mercy from us. He will remember the covenant of our father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He will not make. So again, this is that stiff neck people that just don't want to change. They keep just doing negative, doing, 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 taking advantage of people's kindness for weakness. Okay. He will not make his word to be a lie and will not break his covenant so that our father's seed be destroyed. Right. All right. So again, there are people that I, I look at as if, you know, Whatever, because I know what has been done to them. Same thing been done to me. So why I know how to either take a smack and turn the cheek and still look at the situation in fairness, right? In fairness. But I tried to, I already prophesied, I already told these things. They didn't listen, but I know how things are. Again, at one point in time, I went through stuff in my life where I was tempted or I did things. You know what I'm saying? So again, nobody is perfect and I'm never going to act like that. And people around me, Especially again, because you won't be recognized in your own hometown. People around me don't like that. They don't like that I stand my ground and I say what I mean and I mean what I say. Especially now. Okay? And then the elders of Israel answered and said unto me, and I think unto him. Now, I think a lot of this have to do with people afraid to lose certain people. But again, once you took, once you turn your back on me and you went to something else, you lost everything. I mean, you lost it anyway. You know, like this is how I feel. So why would I be mad? I'm still me. I still carry the power of potential and the beauty and, 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 and things that the so-called blessings, right? 
I still, I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let nobody do me don't dirty and then it, it ruin me forever and have me stay in that energy. You crazy as I don't know what, right? I'm a roar. I'm going to let you know, right? But no, nah, you're not going to, no, no, no. That flower, right? That grew in a dark room, right? Or out of that concrete, right? <laughs> okay. And then the elders of Israel answered and said unto him, May thy good pleasure be done in thy good pleasure of the Lord God. As for us, none of us will transgress thy word and will not inform any other people that Zion hath been taken away from us. And they established this covenant in the house of the God of the elders of Israel and the king of Solomon unto this day. Now, again, this is, I'm happening, I'm happening to think that this book was written a long time ago and that that's what happened then, Okay. This is what I'm just guessing, okay? But again, some of us are the ones we've been waiting for, and some of us are here. Some of us have been have had an uh, in, insight on who you are, been able to bind you with sorcery and spells, and been able to excel or be able to navigate a little bit better throughout this plane than you, right? Using whatever power. You know what? Power, okay? Hey, and you know who can hate on it? <laughs> Who can hate on it? But I got mine too. You know what I'm saying? And it, although it's preserved right now for me, you know what I'm saying? It don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's just keep it real. Okay. And they established this covenant in the house of God and the elders of Israel with the King Solomon until this day. And Solomon lived for 11 years after um, the taking away of Zion from him. And his... Um, and then his heart turned aside from the love of God and he forgot his wisdom. Damn. Through his excessive love for women or of women. Now, these women can represent women, okay? Or it can be uh it could be for foreign women, foreign inter entities, I I idols, those that are being built back. You see what I'm saying? Are we building back better what was there? By taking away that power that has been spread out amongst the kingdom and bringing it back to its rightful owner, or at least cutting that off and sitting them in the dark because we see the witchcraft. I'm not talking about no tarot cards. I'm talking about real, real stuff, real magic, real black magic or dark magic or these things against a holy one. Because again, maybe it wasn't this person, but it's the excessive love for these women, these strangers, these foreign women that are connected to foreign gods. G7 and other that will turn them away from God, their God, the real true holy one of Israel, the, 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 the real love, mother of all. Okay, they say Africa. I, I, I beg to differ. If you look at Pangea, parts of America were Africa as well. And again, Africa wasn't even named Africa back then. So again, we can just knock it off. We're talking about the old world and the wombs that served as vassals to birth all the nations in the Americas. The old world is that. And the children of those people are the ones that have been running things and running havoc all this time. But the youth of those that they ran havoc on are now here. And we are the ones that we have been waiting for. And some of us are back and full intact. Fully intact. Some of us had to work a little bit harder to find ourselves. Solomon loved greatly the daughter of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, whose name was Mar. Uh, we're going to stop there. Okay. It's 53 minutes. We're going to stop there and then we're going to go ahead and continue with this last part. Um, because yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. Yeah. It'll work. So I'll be right back and we're going to go ahead and start with, um, Marquita or whatever. Okay. Makita, whatever her name is. Okay. <laughs> 